Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from the Body Fit Solution and from Vigor and Trim, our new health and fitness membership site for people like you and me over 50. Today, we're at Celebrating Act 2, and this is Short and Sweet, where I show you one nutritional tip and one exercise tip to keep you healthy and strong. We're going to work on the obliques. Now, the obliques are part of the core. They run up and down the sides of our torso, and they help with our side bending and our rotation. They also support our spine and stabilize it. So important muscles, let's get going. We're gonna lay on our back, so you're gonna come down nice and easy like. Now I always like to swing a little, rock it right and left to just make sure everything's in order. I'm going to keep my knees bent and feet are on the floor. My hands are going to come right by my ears, but my elbows are going to stay out, all right? I don't want my elbows curling in like that. Now when I lift, I want to keep a distance from my chin from my chest, so if I put my fist under there, I can see that distance. And I'm going to lift with my sternum as opposed to my neck, okay? So I'm going to lift up, and then I'm going to bring this shoulder to this hip, all right, and then back. And then I'm going to do the other side. Lift, shoulder to hip. Exhale and lift. You're going to bring that shoulder off the ground. Good. You can bring that knee in a little further if you want. Okay, do you feel that? I know you do, I do. <laughs> All right, let's do two more. And again, you're gonna exhale on that lift, and of course you're holding your belly button in. Yeah, we knew that, right? All right, good. Now today for our nutritional tip, we are going to talk about calcium. Now we know calcium is important for our bones and our health and helps our muscles and is really instrumental in our muscles moving correctly. But we don't have to always eat dairy to get our calcium. In fact, there's a lot of concern about dairy for, as a way of getting calcium. So here are some calcium rich foods that you can use instead of dairy. So you will find calcium in foods like seafood. So if you get canned uh, sardines and salmon with the bones, you'll find lots of calcium in there. And the salmon has a lot of vitamin D to help absorb that calcium. Why well, isn't that good? All right, isn't that convenient? Yeah. And it's also in leafy greens like collards and kale and spinach. Spinach has a ton of it. And um, broccoli, I know it's not a leafy green, but it's there too. And in okra. <laughs> All right. And you'll find it in beans like soy, white, red, um, pintos. Yeah and also tofu, particularly if it's prepared with calcium sulfate. Oh, I don't want to forget dried fruit it is the yummy part. Figs are good for that. And sesame seeds are loaded with it. Uh, for a fourth a cup of sesame seeds, you get 351 milligrams of calcium. Quite a bunch. You could spread that on your salads or on your meats, all kinds of places to put those sesame seeds. Now, you know why I do this. I do this so that you stay healthy and strong. That's my goal for you so that you have a long life that's active and full of fun and joy. Now, I want to welcome you next time to Short and Street, Short and Sweet, and I'll look forward to seeing you then. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.